Look, Hoorish fam, at this point, I'm just trying to get rid of these goddamn hoodies. So when you purchase a hoodie, you will be receiving the Travel Hacking Off the Swipes ebook, the Shelf Corporation H Corp Secrets ebook, all three for $39.99. Y'all tap in, link under the description for the website. Go. What's good, Hoorish fam, man? It's your boy Hoorish Credit back at you again with another fucking banger, man. You feel me? Look, Hoorish fam, today I got a very special video for y'all today. So today we're going to be breaking down an institution I've already broken down in the past. But the reason why I'm bringing it back to light is because remember what I told y'all in my last video, a lot of you guys are already ready to stack some business credit cards, right? And the thing is, <clears throat> I did, like I said, a breakdown on institutions that pull from TransUnion on the business side, institutions that pull from Experian on the business side, and then Equifax as well. I did a whole breakdown on all three bureaus, right? The cards that you want to stack. But I'm going to be honest with y'all. I missed out on some good business credit cards, right? That I've already done reviews with in the past. It's just, I low key was rushing them type of videos if I'm being honest with y'all. But look, I always tell y'all, every time I do a breakdown, especially on business credit cards, create your own lenders list, okay, y'all? And put the simple data points. Pulls from TransUnion, TransUnion doesn't report 0% APR, 12 months, yada, yada, yada. You get the point, right? So start creating your secret lenders list, right? Where I do the breakdowns. If I tell y'all this institution pulls from this uh, bureau, okay, now I write it down for TransUnion. Now I stack, you know, these business credit cards with TransUnion. You make up your mind whenever you're ready, okay, y'all? So I'm bringing this institution back to light because a lot of people sleep on this institution, right? You guys might watch my videos and then a month later forget about this business credit card and go with some other business credit cards. So write them down, I'm telling y'all. So we got BHG Money, okay? They got some good business credit cards and they got some good personal credit cards as well. But let me give y'all right off the bat data points man so the simple data points that i wrote down they will be pulling your transunion credit report so remember write this down this is an institution you can stack with transunion okay y'all remember with each bureaus you want to stack they will be doing a hard pull though on your transunion so what you want to do is if you have this card in mind you're gonna have to line it up with another business credit card that hard pulls for transunion but before stacking those two hard pulls remember like i always say go for the soft pull business credit cards first just so that hard inquiry won't report then when you're ready for the hard pulls when they check your credit you're not gonna have hard inquiries on your for example transunion okay y'all so line this up line this bhg business credit card well, whichever you want to go for, which I'm about to break down right now, but line it up with another hard pull business credit card that pulls TransUnion. Open two tabs, this tab and then another tab, fill in the information, apply, apply. Okay, y'all, then that second institution you clicked apply for, they are not going to see that first hard inquiry on that first application because it takes about five to ten seconds for an inquiry to post. Okay, y'all, so it's not going to, you know, they're not going to see that recent hard inquiry. Now, I always say if you got recent hard inquiries, right? That's where you get denied. That's where you come off like you're too thirsty for credit and you're going to get denied. So you have to do this very quick. Open the two tabs and you're good. Okay, y'all. So let's break down the credit cards real quick. So first of all, this one was the one that catched my attention. The BHG Power Business MasterCard. As you can see, no annual fee. 0% on purchases and balance transfers for six months. I always tell y'all 12 months is ideal. But six months, if you got a certain investment that you know you're going to make a quick return on you know, your money, then you're straight. You know what I'm saying? Go for the use this uh, business credit card. You don't have to use a whole year, but that is ideal because you have more breathing room, right? For your investment to start making money so you could pay back the card. So you got this Power uh, Business MasterCard. Now you got the BHG More Business MasterCard. But the only thing is, this one has 12 months, but on balance transfers, I'm not seeing on purchases, okay, y'all? As well as the World Elite MasterCard. So on balance transfers made in the first 60 days. And um, yeah, like I said, with this business credit card, another thing with that I want y'all to understand, this one has an annual fee of 195 Waived first year, okay, y'all? But another thing that I want y'all to understand is this business credit card is not going to report to your business or your personal. Well, so first of all, with your business, I mean, that might be a little downside for some of y'all because... You know, you guys want to build business credit, etc. But there's another, you know, benefit to it if you don't want that, you know, balance reported or whatever. You don't want that card reported at all. Okay, y'all. So it's it, it can be a good and a bad depending on what you want. So it's not going to report to your business or your personal. I always say never want you never want a business credit card that's going to report to your personal. That's going to fuck you up, especially when you try to personal guarantee 
with other business credit cards you know they're gonna see that account posted on your personal credit um and you're gonna get denied bro like i'm telling y'all you're gonna get denied because most likely you're gonna utilize this card right you're gonna you know put a big balance on it right and if you got high balances on current credit cards you're gonna see that utilization be spiked up on your personal credit okay you got uh you got a high balance with uh your credit cards on your personal credit that's the reason why we denied you like i'm telling y'all you never want a business credit card on your personal credit always go for institutions that don't report to personal uh what else i wanted to say let's check out the personal credit cards because I, I i haven't seen the personal credit cards if i'm being honest with y'all but i know they got some good offers because on the personal side you know what i'm saying if they got some good offers you can utilize business uh, personal credit cards as well and bust a plate but keep in mind your utilization if you rent up a high balance on that personal credit card then you know your utilization is gonna be fucked up and you're gonna have to sit out and not be able to apply for some business credit cards but if you're impatient you know you don't you don't want to open up a llc or whatever you're just impatient in general you get what i'm saying you just want to invest off the personal side then you can go off the personal as well but just keep in mind your credit score is going to go down you're going to have to sit out but the thing is if it's a zero percent interest credit card you're not going to pay money on that balance you're not going to pay no interest you're just going to pay the pay up the minimum balance every month and you're gonna be straight you know what i'm saying your credit score is gonna go right back up i don't know why a lot of people people i'm telling y'all man people would be pussy as fuck to invest in uh using their personal credit or investing in general even when they have access to business credit cards oh i don't know what to get into just run the plays up right like this shit is not that hard man put, put up the bread you already in a down bad situation you know what i'm saying like me back then i didn't give a fuck you know what I'm saying? I'm putting the money up. I don't care if I'm in a down bad position. I'll go back to sleeping with the roaches, air mattress, all that. I don't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? So that's a little, you know, advice that I want to give y'all. Stop caring. Just do it. Take action. Okay, y'all. When y'all get access to these business credit cards, take action and bust some plays. What y'all overthinking this process for? A lot of y'all overthink and that shit stops you from getting in the bag. So uh zero percent interest. Six months on balance transfers, the personal credit card. Twelve months on balance transfers. I'm not seeing purchases. This one purchases and balance transfers for six months. Basically the same as the business side, what they kind of offer. Okay, hood rich fam. So hopefully y'all enjoyed this video, man. A uh, big thing to take off of this. Remember, take action, please, y'all. Stop overthinking this process when y'all get access to these business credit cards. Bust some fucking plays, man, for once do some shit take a risk who cares man you know what i'm saying we only have one life to live why y'all overthinking this shit man just do it i don't give a fuck uh but yeah hopefully y'all enjoyed y'all have a good day to hurry Trey, come.